For the very latest news from Thailand, this is the Fabulous Patia Media Group. If you could like and subscribe, well, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. The government has warned that any driver in Thailand refusing to take a blood alcohol test will be regarded as drunk for the purpose of the law and prosecuted as such without hindrance under a new police directive expected to become standard operating procedure very soon indeed. The new regulations also include the right by police to secure blood samples from injured people, either via medics or from hospitals. Current rules don't allow police to check blood alcohol levels of drivers who are unconscious. That too will change. Tourism ministers of Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam and Malaysia have approved a plan that would see the region promoted as a single tourist destination. Designed to encourage visitors to travel from one to the other, the plans are of course in their infancy. So we wait to hear just how issues such as visas will be affected. Currently, each country has its own visa program and there is, of course, a maximum limit of stay. As predicted, the same concerned member of the public, an ex-senator, and the same who affected the recent court case against the party, has filed a petition with the Election Commission demanding the dissolution of the Move Forward party. Move Forward, which won the last election, recently fell foul of courts who've deemed that a portion of their election PR could undermine the constitution and the role of the monarchy here. Two million baht in gambling debts have been claimed as the catalyst which drove a man to recruit another and then a handful of teams before robbing a Suratani gold shop last month. Now all in custody and charges had been made as police revealed that CCTV tapes showed him approaching the counter with a gun and removing all of the stock as his cohort stood guard swinging two gums around at anyone nearby. The teams, well, they facilitated the escape. The gold was already sold and the profits divided before their arrest. And the errant Russian rock band arrested for performing for profit without correct documents has been deported, but to Israel. The seven band members claimed that they faced life-threatening punishment if returned to Russia. All settled fines for working without a permit and are already on foreign soil. Meanwhile at home and in Patia, police are awaiting an initial post-mortem report on a drowned man recovered from the shoreline and believed to be Indian. Spotted by restaurant staff, they raised the alarm. He was duly removed, but it's estimated that he passed away at least three hours before they found him. No physical injuries were apparent. And Banglamung Provincial Administrative Organization is heading up a patrol team which will continue with inspections of licensed premises as it has done for the last few nights. Checking licenses along with fire exits and equipment and also checking that patrons are of age and not armed in any way that could cause any conflict, much of Walking Street's area has, we're told, now been checked and the clean-up operation is set to absorb too the teams out stopping the sale of marijuana by illegal street vendors. Megan has the news over the weekend on Fabulous 103 with the What's On Guide covering several free events in the area and specials around the region too. And with the Met Office promising highs today and over the weekend, a 31 degrees dropping down to 26, more sunny with clouds but high humidity and a real feel of 36. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group.